From their bar to yours, Chad and Sarah of the popular YouTube channel It's Bourbon Night bring you their favorite at-home old-fashioned mix with the new Elemental Elixir's Golden Hour Syrup. It's a custom-made syrup with notes of bold black tea, warm spices, and orange zest. All you need is your favorite whiskey and ice. No bitters needed. One bottle makes 16 drinks, so that's only $1 cocktail before you add your own whiskey. They can also be enjoyed in other cocktails or spirits, mocktails, coffee, tea, and anything you can think of. It's crafted locally in Lexington, Kentucky, and you can get your bottle now at whiskeyambitions.com. Play Whiskey Wednesday Round 11, The Memory Game. Until June 26, each week you can win one of our 12 incredible grand prizes. Select two doors at checkout. And if they match on drawing night, you'll win that bottle. Not a match? No worries. You still score a Weller 12-year. Every $5 ticket gives you five chances to win, including four weekly bonus prizes. Get your tickets now at give270.org. Charitable Gaming License ORG 0002703. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Whiskey Quickie, or maybe this time we call it Bung Holes in Space. Oh, really? Well, is do you remember the, yeah. Mystic Bourbon? This okay. is the one where they sent the barrel to space. No way. But this isn't that exact bottle. This is some of their uh, normal Earth, stuff. <laughs> stuff aged on Earth. <laughs> yeah, stuff aged on Earth. This <laughs> okay. is, that's where it's coming from. So this is Heart of Mystic Bourbon, and this is 45% wheat, and then is aged a minimum of three years. And this is one of their single barrel bourbons and has an SRP of $40. And I didn't get the proof on it. What's the proof on it say? Oh, let's see here. It says 114.6. There we go. There we go. It's a nice 375 bottle. It I is. Like Where does it say distilled in? Is it actually? Uh, it says uh, distilled and bottled by Mystic Farm and Distillery, Durham, North Carolina. There we go. Well, so there it is go. from North Carolina. On with the nose. Wow. I mean. Some like toasted marshmallows. Um, it's a very good weeded profile. Yeah. Some of that uh, kind of little creamy, butterscotchy little bit nose to it too. But I'm really getting like a lot of toasted marshmallows. Yeah, I'd say that. It's almost kind of like if you're going through a corn maze and you kind of get that, that kind of waft when yeah. you go through there. I kind of get that too. Yep. I want the nose. Or sorry, I want the taste. Hmm. Okay. I was surprised. Um, it's creamy. It's viscous. There's, I get that toasted marshmallow. There's some graham cracker to, notes to it. I mean, this tastes like a, almost like a double oaked or something. It's got. Wow. You say double oaked, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's got some really rich, sweet, decadent flavors to it. I'm surprised. That, yeah. That three I, years old. I thought there was just, it's a really good rounded profile. Uh, there's just a little bit of hint of spice on the back, but it's not like, it's not like a typical like rye bourbon where it's going to yeah. be like kind of really going to feel it. But for a weeded bourbon, you kind of just get a little bit of that spice in the back end. But it's overall, it fits that, as I said before, that weeded profile where it's a little bit delicate on the palate, uh, not overpowering, especially what we say, 118, 14. 114 proof. Yeah. Pretty impressive. It's got a little earthy funkiness, but in a good way. Like I, I really like it. Yeah. I, that's really good too. Yep. All right. So on the nose, how are you going to rate it? Uh, sideways for me. There was some kind of, I don't know. Too basic for you? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, too expected. On the taste, though. Taste, I loved it. Thumbs up. Yeah. That was really good. And the finish? Thumbs up. Really liked it. Thought it was over it. Really balanced. A lot of re really good flavors going on. Some funkiness. I mean, it was a really interesting pour that I'd probably have another. Yeah. Right, well, let's see if we can try the one that's coming back down from Earth. Here's yeah. <laughs> let's see what those asteroids do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know what it takes to make a barrel come back from space and not go and be combust, but... That's a lot of G-forces. I, I want to try it now. Me too. All right. That is our review of Heart of Mystic Bourbon. With that, cheers, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Toodles. Toodles.